Hello, everybody, and welcome to more first round action in this season's high school challenge. Two outstanding teams ready to go. Let's meet our players right away, shall we? First, from North Branch High School, we have Jim Schleicher. Jim is a junior, plays in the band. He's a member of the National Honor Society, Drama Club, Chess Club, plays golf and field hockey. He has an academic letter. Uh, he hopes to attend Michigan State or Stanford and become a lawyer. Next, we have Gregory Gonzalez. Greg is a senior, a member of the Philosophy Club, plays soccer. He's also a member of the Spanish uh, Club. Uh, plans to attend Michigan State in the pre-law program. Captain of the North Branch team is Bob Peplinski. Bob plays golf. He's in the band, the jazz band. He plays tennis, table tennis, ice hockey, roller hockey, and he's also part of the blues band. He's a winner of the Ray Kroc Award. He's looking at U of M, Michigan State, or Bowling Green to study music. Uh, Chris Pratt is a senior. He's a, a member of the band, Philosophy Club, where he enjoys writing poetry. He's also part of the blues band. He's a National Merit semifinalist and a Pats Award winner. Michigan State University is his choice to major in English and minor in philosophy. Those are our players from North Branch High School. The team is coached by Gordon Winther, and alternates today include Adam Granke, Matthew Higgins, Leah Granke, Josh Meyer, and John Stalker. They will take on our team from Owasso High School. There we have Gregory Geetson. Gregory plays in the band. He is a member of the Owasso Community Players. He is looking at Michigan State or Western Michigan to major in theater. Justin Horvath is captain of the Owasso team. Justin is a senior member of the National Honor Society and French Club. He's the winner of the Xerox Award for Social Sciences and Humanities. Hopes to attend Notre Dame, Michigan, uh, and probably look toward a business degree. Brian Talby is a senior at Owasso, plays tennis. He's a member of the National Honor Society, plays guitar. He's active in Boy Scouts, a National Merit semifinalist, a Michigan Competitive Scholar, Student of the Month, Scholar Athlete Award. He's undecided on a college right now. He wants to go into uh, studying marine biology. And rounding out the Owasso team is Catherine uh, Herbrock. Catherine is a junior, enjoys playing the piano, writing, and environmental. She is the secretary of the Environmental Club, two-time OAMTA scholarship recipient, undecided right now on college and career path. Those are our players from Owasso. The team uh, is coached by Mary Harper with alternates Adam Bookman, Kurt Robertson, and Ryan Pointer. High School Challenge is judged by Barb Powers from Genesee Intermediate School District. Our timekeeper scorekeeper for today's game is Anthony Hurley. Teams, we're ready to go. Here are your rules for round one. I'll ask you a series of questions worth 10 points apiece. The player buzzing first may answer when I recognize you. If you're correct, your team scores the 10 points. If you're incorrect, the other team gets a shot at the same question. Remember, you may interrupt me at any time I'm asking a question. There's no point penalty if you're incorrect. However, at that point, I'll repeat the entire question for the other team. Good luck. Here we go. In December 1941, Admiral Husband E. Kimmel was found remiss in duties and demoted from uh, Bob North Branch. Pearl Harbor? Pearl Harbor is correct. It has 10 cities with a population of over a million. Yet 80% of its population lives in rural communities of less than 5,000. What is this South Asian country? Owasso Justin. India. India is correct. It's been called much verse than poetry, the lowest form of humus, earthy wit that everyone digs. That's four examples in one sentence. What is this? play on words call. Justin Owasso. Pawn. Pawn is correct. It's the tendency of an object traveling in a straight line. Uh, Bob North Branch. Uh, inertia. Inertia is correct. Here is your next toss up. What city is the home of the American breakfast food industry? Uh, Greg North Branch. Battle Creek. That's correct. Your next toss-up, teams. The model, the short, the long, and the rump. What legislative body has been called by all these names? Uh, Catherine Owasso. Parliament. That's correct. 
In a quadratic equation, values are raised to the second power. How many complex roots can a quadratic equation... Uh, Catherine Owasso. Two. That's incorrect. In a quadratic equation, values are raised to the second power. How many complex roots can a quadratic equation have? Is it none, only one, or one or two? North Branch, Jim. One or two? That's the correct answer. Your next toss-up. It takes its name from the Latin word for eight because it has uh, Brian Owasso. Octopus. Incorrect. It takes it, nice try. It takes its name from the Latin word for eight because it is the span of eight diatonic tones common to Western music. What is this musical term? Bob North Branch. Octave. Octave is the correct answer. We call day-to-day -day atmospheric conditions weather. Uh, Bob North Branch. Climate. Climate is what I was going to do. The world's largest man-made lake is 115 miles long and 10 miles wide. It was created in 19... Uh, Bob North Branch. Lake Nasser. That's incorrect. The world's largest land-made lake is 115 miles long and 10 miles wide. It was created in 1936 by the construction of the Hoover Dam. What is uh, Justin Owasso? Lake Mead. Lake Mead is correct. Seven fundamental physics units, including length, time, and mass, have been given official status by the General Conference on Weights and Measures. What two-letter abbreviation? Uh, Justin Owasso. SI. SI is correct. Here's your next toss-up, teams. Plutarch described them as, quote, the sons to Aeneas and Dexithia, uh, Justin Owasso. Romulus and Remus. That's correct. Your next toss-up. Sigmund Freud developed the concept of eros, or the pleasure principle. Who wrote beyond the pleasure principle? Uh, Chris North Branch. Eric Fromm. That's incorrect. Uh, Brian Owasso. Carl Jung. Also incorrect. I tricked you. Sigmund Freud is the answer. If they have even a tiny amount of mass, they will weigh more than all the stars, planets, and galaxies in the universe. What are these particles with uh, Catherine Owasso? Atoms. It's incorrect. If they have even a tiny amount of mass, they will weigh more than all the stars, planets, and galaxies in the universe. What are these particles with no charge and we think no mass? Chris, North Branch. Quarks. Also incorrect, neutrinos is the answer. And here's another toss-up. They got their name because they were frequently the second feature on double bills at theaters in the 1930s and uh, Brian Owasso. B-movies? B-movies is correct. <laughs> Galba, Otho, Vitellius, and Vespasian were all emperors of Rome in the same year. Was the year 49, 69, or 89? <laughs> Catherine Owasso. 69? 69 is correct. <laughs> Another toss-up. In Lewis Carroll's poem, Little Maidens, When You Look, the first letters of each line spell out the names of the little maidens, Lorena, Alice, and Edith. What name is given to this type of poem? Bob North Branch. Mnemonic. That's incorrect. Owasso Gregory. Acrostic. Acrostic is the correct answer. It is the smallest city in the United States with a building more than 1,000 feet tall. In what city is the Stratosphere Tower Hotel located? Time. Time's up, and there's a roller coaster at the top. It's Las Vegas, Nevada. Here's your next toss-up. In what country will you find these words on a plaque? Quote, on this holy spot where Tigris meets Euphrates, uh, Bob North Branch. Iraq. That's correct. Here's another toss-up. A comedy by Aristophanes features a chorus of amphibians singing uh, Bob North Branch. The Frogs. That's correct. 
They've gone on to star in Budweiser commercial. Here's your next toss-up. In 1990, researchers took samples of his hair, blood, and skull to determine if he suffered from Marfan syndrome, which, uh, Justin Owasso. Abraham Lincoln? That's correct. Here's your next toss-up, teams. Human blood has two major components, the cells or corpuscles, and, uh, Brian Owasso. Plasma? Plasma is correct. All steps in classical ballet begin and end in one of the basic positions for feet and arms. How many, uh, Chris North Branch? Five. Five is the correct answer. Your next toss-up, teams. Its name is derived from the Latin word for a feather, which reminds us that at one time, most of them were made from feathers. What is this writing instrument? Bob North Branch. A pen. That's correct. It's a mathematical curiosity, but the cube root of a particular prime number is equal to pi to three decimal places. What number is it? Would it be 29, 31? There's our buzzer. The answer was going to be 31, but we come to the end of round one with Owasso on top by just 10 points. But that difference does give North Branch the first opportunity at our bonus or at our lightning round. As you know, I'm about to ask you or give you a choice of three categories. Once you've selected, you'll have 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions in that category. Remember, you don't have to buzz in in this round and you may consult, but I'll only be accepting answers from your team captain. If you don't know an answer, you must say pass before I continue. You'll score 10 points for each correct answer, a 20-point bonus if all 10 are correct. Once your 60 seconds is up, North Branch, Owasso, you'll select from, uh, you'll have uh, 30 seconds to answer any questions they missed, passed on, or didn't get to. Then you'll select from the remaining two categories and we'll repeat the process. North Branch, your choices for this game are All American, Ends in X, or What'll It Be, Potpourri? It'll be like starting with B. Yeah. Do Potpourri. Sure. What'll it be, potpourri? What'll it be? Of course, it's potpourri. Familiar variety of people, places, and things for 10 points each. Here we go. We begin with number one. U.S. state with the abbreviation H-I. Hawaii. Correct. If you divide watts by volts, you get what? Ohms. Ohms. Incorrect. This studio produced The Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind. MGM. Correct. General and emperor known as the Little Corporal. Hirohito? Incorrect. The ballpark at Arlington is home to this major league team. Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers. Correct. The name given to the music for a mass for the dead. Um, Requiem. Requiem. Correct. The fifth book of the Old Testament. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Correct. Monthly magazine famous for its yellow bordered covers. Uh, Time, life. Life. Incorrect. Civil War song written by Julia Ward Howe to the tune of John Brown's body. Battle, yeah, Battle. Battle Hymn of the Republic. Correct. State represented by Al Gore when he was in the Senate. Uh, no. Tennessee? Nebraska. <laughs> did the buzzer go off before he answered? I think it did. So we will pass that on as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six questions are correct for 60 points. Owasso, we're reset at 30 seconds from the top. Number one, if you divide watts by volts, that's correct. General and Emperor, known Napoleon. as that's correct. Uh, monthly Magazine, famous. National Geographic, that's correct. State represented by Al Gore, Tennessee, Tennessee is correct. And that's all of them. 40 points for Owasso, and now Owasso, you may select between All American or Ends in X. Let's go All-American. Okay, the American Football League and American Basketball Association have both come and gone. We'd like you to identify these other All-American people, places, and things. All your answers will begin with American. Here we go. We start with number one, Grant Wood's most famous painting. American Gothic. American Gothic. Correct. In broadcasting, it's ABC. American American. Broadcasting Corporation. Corporation. Incorrect. 
It lasted from 1775 to 1783. American Revolution. American Revolution. Correct. The AAA. American Auto Association. American Association. Oh, African American Association. Association. Incorrect. Elizabeth Dole heads it. Clara Bar Barton founded American it. American Red Cross. American Red Cross. Correct. On Wall Street, it's the ASE. American, American Stock, Stock Exchange. American Stock Exchange. Correct. It began in Philadelphia in 1952 as a local dance show. American, American Bandstand. Bandstand. Correct. The largest monopoly in the world, AT&T. American. American. Pass. Bandstand. Pacific Ocean Islands capital, Pago Pago. Its capital is American Pago Samoa. Pago. Yeah. American Samoa. Correct. The ACLU. American, American Civil, Civil Liberties Union. That's correct. And you're through all 10. You score 70 with seven correct. We reset our clock at 30 seconds. North Branch from the top in broadcasting. It's ABC. American Broadcasting Company. That's correct. The AAA. American Automobile Association. Correct. The largest monopoly in the world, AT&T. Yes. American Telephone and Telegraph. And that's correct as well for 30 points on your side. And that brings our lightning round to conclusion. We'll total up all of those points and be back with some extra credit right after this. Hi, I'm Jim Gaber here at TV28. I hope you'll take a moment to be sure and check that you have fulfilled your pledge of support. If not, write out a check today, get it in the mail, then sit back and enjoy some terrific programming on your public television station, WFUM. We're off to London, the pageantry. Terrific theater. Eat your heart out, whoopee. Fabulous food. Pie, mash, and eel. Ooh, the food is absolutely ghastly. You're going places to London with Al Roker and PBS. It's more fun than serious. Ta-ta! Join us tonight at 9. This is your supported WFUL Flair. Everybody, we have a dandy going here. Just 30 points separate our two teams, and this is our extra credit round. Teams, by that I mean I'm going to ask you toss-up questions, just as we did in round one. For 10 points apiece, the rules are the same. The difference is a correct answer gets you 10 points, plus an opportunity at 10 points worth of extra credit. On extra credit questions, you may consult. I'll take the answer from the team captain. Remember, consult on extra credit only, not on toss-ups. At the end of the game, if we're in the middle of a toss-up extra credit cycle, we play through the entire cycle. Here we go. His name has become a synonym for ruthless because of his cynical pol uh, Gregory Owasso. Machiavelli. That's correct. <laughs> Owasso, your extra credit. Called bone break fever for the terrible joint pain it causes, it reached academic proportions in Latin America and the Caribbean in 1995. What is this disease carried by mosquitoes? Malaria. Malaria. It's incorrect. Dengue fever is the correct answer. Here's your next toss-up, teams. This Muslim territory was divided between India and Pakistan when the two countries became independent in 1947. Uh, Catherine Owasso. Bangladesh. That's incorrect. This Muslim territory was divided between India and Pakistan when the two countries became independent in 1947. What is this hotly contested region? Bob North Branch. Kashmir. Kashmir is correct. <laughs> North Branch, your extra credit. Because of the barbaric music and erotic dancing that accompanied the sacrifice of a young girl to the god of the new season, the world premiere of this Stravinsky ballet erupted into a riot. What was it? Rite of Spring, wasn't it? Rite of Spring. That's correct. Here's your next toss-up, teams. One gram of radium-226 undergoes 37 billion disintegrations per second, producing about one ten-thousandth of a cubic centimeter of this noble gas every day. What gas is it? Jim North Branch. Helium. That's incorrect. Owasso. Owasso Justin. Argon. Radon is the correct answer. Another toss up. Progressive Robert La Follette, fanatic Joseph McCarthy, and thrifty William Proxmire all represented the Badger State. Justin Owasso. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is correct. 
your extra credit, Owasso. The first edition of Thomas Norton's The Constitution of the United States, printed in 1956, contains all the amendments. What is the last amendment in this 1956 edition? 22nd. 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 That's correct. Here's your next toss-up. Of the following four nations, which one does not belong to the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries? Is it Iran, Ecuador, uh, Justin Owasso? Ecuador. That's incorrect. Of the following four nations, which one does not belong to the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries? Iran, Ecuador, Liberia, or Nigeria? Bob, North Grand. Liberia. Liberia is correct. Your extra credit, North Branch. 75 years ago, it was an ordinary Wyoming town until the Interior Secretary secretly leased its oil reserves to private investors. What was this blot on the record of Warren G. Harding? Teapot Dome. That's correct. Another toss-up, teams. Her last name is Undershaft, and she's an officer in the Salvation Army. Her father made his fortune selling weapons. Who is this major character in George Bernard Shaw's play? Bob North Branch. Eliza Doolittle. Incorrect. You may take it a wasso. Time. Time's up. There was a clue in the question, major. It's Major Barbara. Here's your next toss up. Since 1995, Prime Minister Vahi has ruled Esti Verbaric uh, uh, from its capital at Tallinn. What Baltic Republic calls itself e uh, Bob North Branch? Estonia. Estonia is correct. <laughs> Your extra credit, North Branch. This 1887 story introduced one of literature's most popular sleuths. In what story did Sherlock Holmes first appear? Yeah, I think so. Time. Time's up. A study in scarlet is the answer. Here's your next toss-up. The technique is named from the Greek for twig or offshoot. The nucleus from an egg cell is removed and replaced with one from a donor cell, creating an identical copy. What is this biological process? Bob North Branch. Cloning? Cloning is correct. <laughs> your extra credit, North Branch, quote, the preparation of radium and the determination of atomic weight form the chief part of my work, end quote. Who thus described her experiments in her thesis, Radioactive Substances? Curie. That's correct. Here's your next toss-up. This political party of the 1800s grew out of the... Uh, Bob North Branch. Whigs. The Whigs is correct. Your extra credit, North Branch. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 2 of the United States Constitution requires that a person detained by law be brought to court to show cause for detention. What writ is issued to accomplish habeas this? Corpus. Writ of habeas corpus. That's correct. <laughs> and here's your next toss-up, teams. Santo Domingo is the capital of the Dominican Republic. What is the capital of the tiny island... Uh, Bob North Branch. Um, Time. King. Time's up. Santo Domingo is the capital of the Dominican Republic. What is the capital of the tiny island Republic of Dominica? Uh, Catherine Owasso. San Tropez. It's also incorrect. Roseau is the correct answer. And here's another toss up. Consider an angle measuring 45 degrees and the six regular trigonometric functions of that angle. Which two functions are equal to the square root of two? Jim North Branch. Uh, cotangent and secant. That's incorrect. Owasso. Uh, Justin Owasso. Sine and cosecant. Also incorrect. So, uh, cosecant and secant is the correct answer. Here's another toss-up, Keynes. After the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, it's said that physicist Robert Oppenheimer compared himself to this god, the destroyer of worlds. Chris North Branch. Shiva. Shiva is correct. 
Garth Brandt, your extra credit. William Wordsworth wrote the Lucy poems. What fictional doctor is said to have written the Lara poems during the Russian Revolution? Dr. Zhivago. Dr. Zhivago. That's correct. <laughs> and teams, another toss-up. A skeleton ship appears sailing on a... Chris North Brand. The Flying Dutchman. Incorrect. A skeleton ship appears sailing on a still sea. On its deck, death and life and death throw dice for... So uh, Gregory Owasso. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is correct. <laughs> Owasso, your extra credit. Simone Bolivar's best commander became the first president of Bolivia in 1826 and had a city named for him. Who was this revolutionary hero? La Paz. Incorrect. The correct answer there is Antonio Jose de Sucre. And that was the buzzer behind me to end our game. An extremely well played in game indeed. Almost 600 points scored by two very good teams. North Branch, congratulations to you for coming out on top. Owasso, a game well played and putting you in contention for one of our wild card bursts this year. We'll be back with more High School Challenge. I'm Jim Gaver. Nice game. Thank you.